So today guys will be making amazing meal. I have here goulash and here I have a pretzels with a special topping. It's amazing meal and it's easy to be prepared. I hope you're going to enjoy it. Hi guys, welcome to Sanya's Fantasy Kitchen. Today we're going to have some fun, so let's get started. So we'll start making these pretzels guys. I have four cups of uh, flour, whole purpose flour. Okay, so we have here I already put one tablespoon of yeast, two tablespoons of salt, half a teaspoon of honey, and half a teaspoon of baking powder. And I add some warm milk and mix it. I'm going to keep adding a milk. It should be good. I'm going to add two tablespoons of Greek yogurt. And keep adding your milk while you're mixing it. A little bit more, almost two cups of milk. You want your dough to be soft, not too soft, but softer, more softer than usual bread dough. Yeah, that's perfect. So I use actually Let's see how much I have. One third left of cup of milk from two cups. And I have a little bit of flour on the side. I'm going to use it. Now you're going to start working on your dough with your hand. Just make sure it's not sticking to your hand. Just use the flour. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit here. I love making anything with the flour and the dough. There's so many variety you can make. Okay. So that's very soft, nice. So now that we wait for our dough to rise, 
we're gonna start preparing stuff for our goulash and I'm gonna actually make the different kind goulash that it's called um, hunter's goulash for this I need white onion One whole onion, And put it on the side. And I have here whole garlic that I'm going to put in. If you don't like garlic, you can actually skip it. But this is what will make gouache very, very tasty. Put it together with the onions. Cut one tomato. You can cut it any way you want. It doesn't really matter. It's going to be cooked anyway in that goulash. If you don't want to add tomato, you can just use the red paprika. That's fine. I'm going to use both of them actually. Put it on the side too. And I have three potatoes here I already peeled. Cut it any way you want it. I like little pieces, little bites. I'm not going to put too much potato because I'm going to make dumplings too. But if you don't like dumplings, you can always substitute with more potatoes. Put a little bit of water on the top so they will not dry out and get black. And I have some parsley here. And now I'm going to make the dumplings because everything is going to go all together. I'm going to crack two eggs. I'm 
mix it, add salt. I'm going to add probably one teaspoon. I'm going to start adding a flour. It's very easy to make these dumplings. And you can put it in any stew. You keep adding one tablespoon at a time because it's not supposed to be too hard but it, you have to let it sit for five minutes at least. And this is the same way you can make the dumplings for soups and for the stews. See? That's how it's supposed to be. So we're going to let it sit for five minutes and come back and put it all together. Okay, now we're going to prepare everything and put together. Here I have beef tips. You can put any meat you want. You can even make with a chicken. But this is actually original gouache. It's made with the beef. So we're going to put it all together. Onions and garlic. I have one carrot here that I already cut it. Pepper and tomatoes. And potatoes. I'm going to drain very fast. Now, salt. Adding one teaspoon of salt because I'm going to add some dry spices too. Tablespoon of dry spices any kind, a lot of pepper, will be one tablespoon, and paprika, red paprika. Red paprika it's must in my kitchen. It gets the flavor. It changed the totally flavors to any meal, any cooked meal, it changed it. So here I'm going to add as much I can. So that's probably three tablespoons, if not even more. You can add more, depends what you like. You're going to mix it. Now we're going to go over here and put in our pressure cooker. Okay, here's our dough. It's already risen. We're going to need a flour on our surface. Pull it out. Let's 
sprinkle a little bit more. And I'm going to cut it before I start working on it. Make it a little bowl shape. You don't have to work it too much. You'll see how it's made. So after 10 minutes, we're going to let air go from air pressure cooker and I'm going to add my dumplings and also I'm going to add the parsley. Okay, so we have our dough ready. I'm going to use a little bit of oil on the surface and on my hands too. Okay, so I have my little ball and start rolling. Okay, so like this, put on your pan, and the next one, and that's how you do all of them. You actually play with it like it's a Play-Doh. Okay, next, okay, so we have them all done, we're going to leave them for at least 20 minutes like this, and then we're going to come back and I'll show you what I'm going to do. So now I have to thicken my gouache, so I'm going to use some avocado oil. And some flour. That's how you're going to thicken your stew or anything that you want to be thicker. Okay, so now we're going to prepare our pretzels. I have my oven on 380 degrees. I'm going to put some egg yolks with the milk on the top. Okay, and 
And now I will prepare the topping for these pretzels. Five tablespoons of flour. And I need one full tablespoon of salt. A little bit more. And I'm going to keep adding the water. Mixing it. This is most important thing on those pretzels. The pretzels go in the oven for 20 minutes until they're golden brown. But five minutes before to take it out, you're going to have to put this salt on the top. So right before our pretzel is done, I told you guys we're going to have to put this salt and a flour mixture on the top. And that's the best part of the pretzels I already told you. Every time my kids tell me to put more. Yummy, yummy, yummy. So you see our pretzels are done already. They're amazing. It's so soft. So yummy, delicious. And our gouache is amazing. Look at all that goodness. You have to try to make this, it's very easy. Very delicious. So that will be all for today. I hope you enjoy my videos. If you have any questions, you can leave your comments down below. I'll be happy to answer it. Again, I was very happy to be here today with you again. Until the next time and the next video, from Sanya's Fantasy Kitchen, big kisses.